Hello everybody, this is Josephine, and welcome to a new video. Today I am going to be reacting to the Top 100 Karen Freakouts of 2022, because, well, why not? It does not hurt to look back at the last year and remember how crazy it was. I believe Karen's and Kevin's are very, very special. And not special in a good way. I mean, a very special kind of something I would rather not say here on YouTube. Smash that like button if you think you know what derogatory word I am think about. I'm thinking about. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, let's get started. This video is pretty long, so if you don't like long videos, they're too time consuming for you. You can go see any of my other videos, or you can watch somebody else's videos. But if you think long videos are great and they just pass by so quickly, it doesn't even feel like they're over an hour long, that is okay too. You can watch the rest of this video. Let's get started, you guys. Hello, folks. 2022 has been a glorious year. We got to witness some amazing Karens that show us there is more bottom to rock bottom. We've dived deep into the pool of 2022 Karen clips to bring out the best 100 for you. So, without further ado, enjoy. What we have here, folks, is not a snapping cashier, but a dramatic rage quit of a narcissist. Now see, customer service jobs like being a cashier, I've heard, are very stressful at times. But that does not give her the excuse to act this way. Now, if the customer was rude to her, it would be best to just ignore how rude the customer was and move on with your life. Quitting, I believe, is not a good thing because your job is your livelihood. It's your money. You buy everything with your money. Everything you need and everything you want. Now... But then again, there's other jobs that pay better than this job. So I see quitting for a job that's better than that. It pays better. And that's the only reason why I'd quit a job is to get a better paying job. I don't work yet, so I don't really know everything yet. This is the Karen. Are you happy now? Are you happy? See how upset I am. You come in here being nasty to me. Oh my god, here, take seven dollars. Here, you know what? I don't even care. Just take it all. Take it the f off. Here. Good language. Good I, language. I quit. I quit, lady. Good language. I quit. Somebody call Diane right now. I'm going to be This is sad right here. Oh, you're empty, lady. I am. Record this. I'm I am recording it. I am recording it. Right I am. I'm going to myself. I hope you're empty. I hope you're empty. Get in. Get in. I do not I am not living without my little A fully grown adult man acting like this acting like a spoiled brat because he had to pay a little extra for a bag. In some states, you do have to pay a little extra for a bag, but it really doesn't hurt very much because you know what? Everybody in that state does it. It's not just him. Heck, does he act this way every time he has to go grocery shopping and bag it? If he lives in that state, that's what he has to do. Pay a little extra every time he has to go grocery shopping. Does he act this way every single time? If he does, that is a shame. 
if he only did it this time? Why is he doing it? Why is he choosing to act this way this time? Could have acted this way all the other times. Y you see what I mean? Y the rules are no different than they were before. Come over here and live with me in Louisiana. Bags are free over here. <sighs> Ridiculous and childish. I'm not telling you like that. Hey, 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 I'm not. I am not. Just pay that little bit of extra, just like everybody else does. Nobody else is having a big fit. Overpaying a little extra. Why the heck are you? And what what's different about paying a little extra now than it was before? I am not paying for this. I am not paying for this. I'm I'm leaving. <laughs> Uh, you will not call the cops. Yes, they will call the cops if you continue to act this way. They'll leave you alone when you calm down and pay for the stuff and the bags. Otherwise, they're going to keep on. And they will call the cops if you continue. What you gonna do to them if they do call the cops? If you touch them, if you strike them, if you hit them, if you put a weapon on them, that's just gonna make the trouble trouble even worse for you. And that's gonna send you straight to jail. I will not go down without my food. You can come back around the system. And when is the system going to work? You will not! Don't the police! You do it, I will hurt you so bad. Ooh, I am so scared. Kevin's gonna hurt me so bad. Yeah, what you gonna do, sir? You can't hurt the police very bad, or they'll ta they'll tackle you. They'll manhandle you if you try to hurt them. Ooh. What a threat. This guy is really having a hard day over a little bit of extra money. Mmm. <laughs> I'm not making a scene. I'm not making a scene. Um. Yes, you are making a very big scene over something so menial. You are obviously making a scene. Some Karens got no fear for guns or cops. Or maybe they're overprotective women rooting for a, you know, Kevin. You didn't stop, bro. You didn't stop. Wait, stop sign. No, I'm not. Police, I'm telling you, stop that stop sign. There's kids around here. I'm not your guy. I'm minding my business. I'm minding my business. I'm minding your shit. Talk to me like you, you. Yeah, I got something for you. I'll stick it right up your mouth. Yeah, come on, come on, come on. Oh, get off the ground. Honey, call nine one one. Go, 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 go. Can you come in on one? Oh, he's a cop? Really? I didn't even realize he was a cop until just now. He's wearing a regular shirt and pants. He's not wearing the uniform. You know what? Don't go crazy on anybody now. You you don't tell you can't tell if they're a cop or not. You don't know. Oh, You'd never know if they're a cop or not. And this is proof right here. Dude pulled a knife on the wrong guy. Karma. Oh, Where the f you think you are? I'm telling you this kid.
change around here, mother. Your puff. He's like, you were coming at me. Put your hands I'm on your head. I'm protecting myself. I'm protecting myself. Put your hands on your head. Hey, Ma. I was protecting myself. You were coming at me. You I chased me. I was not me. coming at you. You were fucking chased me. Yet. You chased me. You chased me in the parking lot. You don't live here. Uh, you don't right here. live here. I live right here. You don't here. Here. live here. You don't live here. Nice. Get your hands on your head. This guy's got a gun. Step back. Get your hands on your head. He said he pulled a knife on me. Step back, ma'am. Step back. Step back. Step back. No, I'm not stepping Step back. Ladies, this is none the business. He pulled a knife on the guy, and he's going to suffer the consequences. This is not your business. Step back. He's about to shoot me. Step back. No. He pulled a knife Why? on me. Why? He pulled a knife Why? on me. Because he's psycho and having a f an episode. Get the f Why does he your badge? Right here. No. Call 911. Tell them my husband's a cop, please. The Call here. them. Tell them to hurry. I'm the NYPD. I live here. You're not NY. You're not New Jersey PD. This is not New Jersey. Let's try this. is Rockland County. Step back. Step back. Step back away from me. Why? Step back away from me. Jail! Step back Jill. away from me Step right now. What happened? He starts having a road rage incident with me. What happened where? Tell me. Right here at the stop sign. Oh, outside there? Starts so cursing and screaming wait, at wait, me. Wait, wait, what happened? So what he, did you do to... Okay. So I turned around and I asked him what his problem was. And he comes in here like a psycho. You know, we had we had, we had a lot of deaths and a very bad... We're having a very bad... So he pulls a knife on me? Wait, so I'm going to get the knife. He carries a knife. He pulled it out on me. Thank you. What does that mean? Pulled it out. Well, were you threatening him? What does that mean? What does pulling a knife on somebody mean? It means grabbing it and pointing it at him. Even I know that. And you are much older than me. You should have enough experience in life to know what pulling a weapon on somebody means. That is a shame that she did not know what that meant. The gun? He pulled a knife out and then I pointed the gun at him after he pulled the knife on me. Can I ask you a question? What's going to kill you faster, a knife or a gun? Okay, a knife. Go ahead, honey. Go ahead. Try. Yes, yes. A knife. Nice try. Have a nice day. Stop filming me. Everything has been filmed. So. Say it again. I don't know what would kill faster, a gun or a knife. If you shoot somebody in the head, a gun is going to kill faster than a knife. With a knife, you bleed out first, then die. So I think a gun kills faster. Either way, it was still wrong for him to pull out a knife. What'd you say, honey? Everything's been filmed? She left and got on the bus, which my employee notified me about. So I drove to meet the bus. Guys, okay, so this raggedy ass okay, just came into erotic and stole from my store. Ooh! Stole from my store. Okay, stop, don't touch me. And we're going to follow her to her house because she says she's going to pay for it there. Right? Yes. Okay. So enjoy the ride, and we'll let you know where she lives. Let's play a game called Look in the Thief's Purse. Ooh, I love that game. The unpackaging of shame. It just reveals everything she stole. It reveals proof that she is guilty for stealing. I love that game. So let's have to see what she has. Stop. Oh, she also took a skirt, Justin. Did you see that? Oh, stop? Oh, she's not going to stop. She's going to play it. Um, she, you would let her look in the purse. If you weren't stealing, you wouldn't have any reason to hide it. What? No. You raggedy. You look at me like I'm crazy and you stole from me. The irony. Right? No, she's not looking at you like she's like you're crazy. She's looking at you with a look of guilt because she's been caught stealing and humiliated. 
Don't steal from small businesses, Oki. Here is a Viking looking Kevin doing stupid things and finding out. Not so Viking now, I'm are you, Kevin? Step back. I'm asking you to step. Viking looking Kevin, you really need to mind your own business. Back. You don't tell me what to do in the public right here. Dude, just go, all right? You're in your house. I, I was sent out here. Don't get in my face because you're making me feel threatened. Step back, please. I'm asking you to step back. Dude, do you even know what step back means? I'm pretty sure you know what that means. So just do what he says. And mind your own business. You should have been minding your own business to begin with. Okay. I'll Excuse step back. I'll step. I don't got to go nowhere. I'm leaving without you. Do All right. Man, listen. If you, if you get come to me one more time, you get one more close to me, I'm knocking you the f*** out. Yeah, see? See? Oh, you want... <laughs> Yeah, I wish you had just left me alone. He got bruises and a black eye. Yeah, Very well deserved marks on the face for messing with the wrong man. That is very good right there. To do that. I asked you to get back. I asked you to get back, didn't I? Yeah, he gave you several chances to leave him alone. Before he beat the ever living mess out of you, you deserved that beating. And I, I'm here looking for trouble. Oh, okay. You're right. You're right. That's what I do. That's what black people do. Hope you feel better. Stop waiting in and I'll, I'll move it. Well, you live over there, not over here. We're not even in your f***ing driveway, bro. We're in the neighbor's house. Well, this is what we got to do. Who sprayed the phone? Don't be spraying anybody's phones. They can mess the phone up. Unless it's waterproof. Phones and electronics do not mix. Water messes electronics up. It ruins electronics. What are you right here for? I'm renting my shit. Go ahead. I got gophers over here. Go ahead. Go ahead. Record it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. What are you doing, bro? Stop playing everybody. What are you doing? You live over there. I live, I live over here. Ooh. They haven't been spraying other people. Now he's gonna get sprayed himself. Cool. Got a taste of his own medicine. Or should I say, a drink of his own water. You're in public, homie. You're in public, homie. You're in public, homie. Now, you're being trashed out. Yeah, Talk about to the street and f*** him up. That's what he wants. Go ahead. Go ahead. Spray the cabin. Spray the cabin. Spray the cabin. Go ahead. It's gonna happen. Keep spraying him. He deserves it. Go ahead. He deserves to get gals with embarrassment. Getting people into that they're not even supposed to be in. All the time. It's all cool. When your birthday dinner gets ruined by a Karen and her Kevin husband, good that the kids retaliate. Karen, that wasn't nice. Those people just want to have some fun. Birthdays are supposed to be fun, family-friendly events. Not chaos caused by strangers like you. Their birthday is not your business.
It's not your business to be a party pooper and ruin it. Okay, so not only did you ruin the birthday party, but you also ruined a fun night with your husband. So, ruining the birthday party didn't do you any good because you just wasted your own money just to have your night with your husband ruined by your actions. We all have kids. They weren't screaming at each other. They were excited. They were elated. They were having fun. Screaming at each other would be anger, not happiness. Karen. Bye. Have a good night. Go move on with your miserable life instead of ruining somebody's birthday. Bye. <laughs> something else to do besides bother other people, go get a hobby, go get a job, go do something else with your miserable life. Bye! Really? She's gonna climb through the window wearing that? That's what shirts are for. You're supposed to wear a shirt over your bra. Showing that much skin is only for on the beaches, in the pools, or for in the bedroom. That's not for just anywhere. Or at a club, there's places where that's appropriate, but not just anywhere. Really, this is over for this is over some ranch. Okay, so they're out of ranch. Go to the grocery store or go by another restaurant and get the ranch there for just a little extra. They get that ranch. Did she climb through the window? She climbed through the window. She climbed through the window. She climbed through the window. Cops' lives matter, but for cops without empathy, nobody matters. Why he had to resign? Well, I gotta disagree with that. I think both cops' lives matters, black lives matter, and everybody matters. 
So, th this narrator guy was wrong. Now. Okay. Go ahead, take it off. Take it off, try something. Step out. Who else is in the vehicle? I have my trunk out. I have my three kids in the car. Okay. And the reason why I did not stop is because I'm in the middle of nowhere and my husband's family me not. I, 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 your excuse means nothing to me right now. I don't want to hear it. You asked me. Not good. Good. Ask me a cool. Awesome. You want to turn around for me? Yeah, awesome. All right. Yeah, my seven year old, ten year old, and my uh, one year old. Cool. I've never been pulled over. You don't know how traffic stops work? You don't know that a vehicle's behind you with lights and sounds for a mile. You're not going to move over? Stop. I'm pregnant, sir. So I'm so much pregnant. Okay. I was only not because it's dark out, and I have four, three kids with me. I'm pregnant, and I did not want them to feel uncomfortable. Cool. If you don't want them to feel uncomfortable, then don't get yourselves into situations and don't do illegal actions. It's, it's really that simple. Maybe you'll know better next time, ma'am. That's why I put my hazard lights on. And then all that is shady. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing right now. I'm just telling you why. Because I don't care about why. Just shut up. Yes, sir. About the why. Yes, sir. Don't care about the why. Oh, he's crazy. I can tell just about looking at it. Oh, damn, it's the car. You're going to have to pay for that. That Karen is so peeved off to where she just ran her car into that store. Wow. She's gonna have to pay for the damage she caused. He, she, Karen, or Kevin. I haven't seen this video yet. Is it Karen? This Karen forced her flight to divert so she could be taken off, and she still has no clue why she was wrong. Um, the world doesn't revolve around you. The plane is not going to stop just for you unless you act out. Other people want to get to their destinations. It's not just about you. Really. But think about it again, and they actually want her off now. They want the plane to stop to take her off the plane. She just got to abide by the plane rules, just like everybody else does, and we wouldn't have a problem here.
Oh, it's kind of obvious what you've done wrong. Why would you run in this fight? I'm out here, bitch. Why would you run in this fight? Why would you run in this fight? See, you haven't got an answer. You're absolutely lovely. I told you. with a gun for real now that is scary I i'm not gonna be very funny about this one i'm there is no sarcasm for me here this is just downright scary kevin's are very angry men and and they're very scary and him having a gun just makes it even scarier I don't think I will get in trouble for making this video because there are plenty of other videos out there with armed people in there. And also, if this YouTuber, Karen Go Burr, can get away with um, uploading a video with a Kevin holding a gun, then I don't see why I can't. Hang on, I gotta get this license plate. Can you pointed a gun at me. Look at this shit. You're going right. I'm going right to the. Yeah, you better leave instead of shooting somebody. Shooting somebody will make it even worse for you. Even deeper trouble than you're already in. What do Kevins do after crashing their cars? Walk away like a grumpy old man. Uh, no, you shouldn't walk away like a grumpy old man. You should give your insurance. You don't just walk away from that. You take responsibility for it. Patience is a virtue, and you gotta learn it from this hotel receptionist. Well, with that one, we could get you checked in. It came in as a king suite reservation, so it has a king bed and a sofa pull-up couch. Yeah, we two Yeah, yeah, I understand. It's just it's the way that Booking.com sends us the reservation, so all that we have. Okay, so you just need to take the king bed suite or leave, since that's the only bed she has available. For you. Is that, and we're sold out for tonight. Okay, I get that. So, what do you expect us to do? That's my question. Well, that's what I'm, I'm saying. Solid. Yes, so we could either check you into the room or we could cancel the reservation. That's the only two and options. That's super far. You know, no, I'm not. Just, yeah, I mean, where else are we going to go? Are there any other Holiday Express hotels you can check us into? I don't have the power to do that, but there are Holiday Inn Expresses in Bloomington. You're not going to help us. You're going to say, take the room as it is, or you're on your own. What I can do to help you guys is get you guys checked into the room that has the king bed and the sofa pull-out couch. But apart from that, we don't have any other rooms to check you guys into. If it's regarding what you guys reserved, you would have to call Booking.com so that they could assist you with something that happened on their end. But this is just the information that we've received from Booking.com. Okay, sir. Instead of giving the hotel employee a hard time, why don't you go to another hotel where they have the room you want? We don't have any other rooms available. Who hasn't checked in yet? These rooms are reserved. I can't take them from somebody that's already reserved a room. You give somebody our room, right? The room is supposed to be reserved? No, because we held the room that we had the information for, which is the King Suite. That's what Booking.com sent over to us. So we kept that room for you guys. How did you think four people would 
No, because Booking.com sends us the information, so that's the reservation, and we hold it as it is. Um, how many times does she have to explain herself, sir? I I wouldn't have as much patience as she does. I would have done left the room already. I would I would have to go take a cool down break. I am proud of her for having this much patience. Do you think, do you think four of us can see tomorrow? What's your suggestion? I, I'm not too sure how you guys were going to, you know, do the setup in there. We just have the reservation as it was sent into us. And you have no other alternatives to solve. We're completely sold out for tonight. Yeah. How many times does does she have to explain herself like ten more times for you to get it through your head, dude? There's only one room available. Either that room or no room. In fact, I wouldn't even be complaining. Kinks Keep bed sweets are nice. I would just be happy with what I got instead of whining. Yeah. Two kids. Two kids and us. And that's none of your business either. What are you doing in this? Well, look, I mean, I don't think that it's. It's, you know, uh, that's not really respectful. I think we can just go ahead and cancel your reservation. Thank you. He doesn't deserve the reservation. He doesn't deserve the luxury of having a hotel if he's going to act like this. You know, I'm not too sure, but there are a lot of hotels in the area. I will. I'll be here till 11. Here is a raging bull of a Kevin. What's up? Well, I'm, we're servicing about 25% of the community. Get the out of my neighborhood. It's 8.30 okay. at night, and it's too late to be met. It's not your neighborhood. It is everyone who lives there. It's their neighborhood, not just yours. It's your neighbor's neighborhood. It's your family's neighborhood. It's everyone's neighborhood. Everyone can be there. Selfish dude. Doorbell. Hey, don't go the. Oh. Hey, don't touch me. Go. Get home. Don't touch me. Do not home touch me. I will. You are. I will. I will. I will sue you. Go ahead. Okay. Get the. Hey, hey don't, don't f -ing touch me. Hey, don't touch me. Hey, get out of here, dude. If I was, if I was this guy, I would kick that raging bull right where it hurts, so he would never bother me again. And I would call the cops. And I wouldn't get in trouble for kicking him where it hurts. Because I would have the video proving that he made me do it. He brought it on himself for starting a fight with me. Touch me. I'm calling you. Know who hey. I am. <laughs> call them. Call okay. them. Okay. I will call, call them. Call your reinforcers. Dude, you're fucking crazy. Hey, you're crazy, man. Get out of my crazy. Who do you work for? Get the f off me. Tell me who you are. I'm an eco shield, dude. Get off of me. Hey. Get out of here. Hey, get off of me, dude. I'm out of Where here. Where's your car? Huh? Where's your car? It's get coming. In and go home. It's coming. This is for my own protection. Do not come back near my house. That is assault, Do sir. Do not come near my house. That is assault. I will assault you. Okay. That's nothing. Dude. Okay, that is a threat. Yeah. Okay. It is a threat. It has she has to block the community entrance and waste everybody else's time. Waste everybody else's time just for her convenience and her problem.
Really, that's selfish. What is this about? I can't tell what they're saying besides she was assaulted. If someone's threatening to hurt me, I get banging on my window and fall. I get threatening to hurt you. This is what happens when you run into a racist Karen neighborhood. Sad. Right here, buddy. Right here. Tell them what you were doing. Burning out racing through my neighborhood. Burning out racing through my neighborhood. I told you not to. I'm not in your face. Get out of my neighborhood. Who got the gun? Who got the gun? Again, it's not your neighborhood. It's everybody's neighborhood. Anybody can live there if they can afford it. Selfish. Somebody I want to say. Selfish Kevin. Got a permit to carry. You got a gun? You're the one that would get a All gun. Right. All right. All right. Get out of this neighborhood. All right. Get out of this neighborhood. You don't belong here, Brad. Would y'all want to smash the window? Smash the window? If I'm wrong, I am not going to let anyone try to talk sense into me. Now that's what this Canadian Karen's attitude is as she hurdles folks who she thinks are protesters. What are you doing? What's wrong with protesters? Anybody can protest if they want to, as long as they do it peacefully. What's wrong with protesters? Nothing's wrong with protesters. Yeah, I'm making a video. Can you move? Uh, since she's being so hard-headed and not moving, I would call the cops and say, Hey, this lady's harassing me. I'm starting to lose my patience with her. She will not move. I got places to go with things to do. Please help me resolve this situation. Thank you very much. Please hurry. That's what I'd be saying to the police right now. Hey, he's saying back up. Back up. I can't. Wait. wait. So, what you're going to do is, uh, she's, she, no, she's a waste. She's hey, what? Listen to me, not her. She's no, yeah. Go slowly, run her the fuck over. She's useless. No, no, no. I, yeah, I'm taking a video. If you want, I, I will camera. drive your car. And I will just, I uh, like, will drive your car. No, I don't want to. And we have a Karen setting a beautiful example for her kids and doesn't care about it. No, uh, she's not uh, showing a very good example for her kids at all. If she can, if she continues to act that way in front of her kids. They're going to learn that it is okay to act this way. And they're going to get themselves in serious trouble if they act this way in the future.
So, it is not a very beautiful example. It is an ugly example. For her kids. I can just imagine how she treats her kids with this kind of attitude. Yeah, record me, you stupid ass. I have children in the car, man. Get out of the car and see me then. I stupid have ass children bitch. in the car. You should have never cut. You should have never cut, you stupid ass. I don't give a f about your kids. You don't give a f about mine, ho. Yeah, record me. I'm on what camera. What an example. I'm on camera. Wow. You ugly ass, ho. Those poor kids. Don't I bet you. she's abusive to them. I hope they go to a new family. A better family than this. Okay, you guys. I keep crying. Don't, just, it's okay. You're okay, puppy, okay? Don't cry, it's okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, she just hit her car. Keep recording, keep going. If I was this person, I would just leave yeah, okay. and not give her any attention. Yeah. Hear that? Oh, or I've been here for almost 17 hours. I don't give a f don't Get give the f out of my drive through Get you little f bitch. What'd you say, mo? Let's go. That's not his drive through Anybody can go through that drive through He doesn't control who goes through that drive through if somebody wants their fast food or they want whatever that service is, they can go through the drive through Selfish. Get the f*** out! Bald headed ass! Come over here, beat that ass! Kevin. Go off, motherfucking retarded. Get in the truck. Get your back in your f***ing car. Get your f***ing head in. Get back in your f***ing car, retarded. Yep, you're going, you're, you're getting fired today. You know what? You can suck my d Go. Lose your job. This is what a Karen-bound mob intelligence looks like. An anti-mask mob invades a grocery store. Hey, really? Yeah, no, he's what gonna go, this, this guy hit really? a woman, stop. Hey, you know, woman. Oh, all I see is that good ice cream with the frozen on it. Nice and sweet. This is like sweet karma she's gonna get when the police come. This guy hit a woman. You hit a woman, bro. How's he attacking you? You hit her. You hit her. You hit her. You hit her. We have it on video. We hit her. Where's the cop? Go home and take a shower right after this 
thing. No telling what kind of germs it has in it. Ugh. These new tenants just found out that they have a racist Karen for a neighbor. Where your husband at? No, ma'am. No business. For real. Personal documents. At all. They're like in their hair. Yes, yes. It's just a medium weight. They're just a the f we got to steal something for? Babe, What's that? You're what do we need? You so <laughs> Okay. I, it looks like there's been a misunderstanding. So, apparently, there's been a misunderstanding. When I was driving by, I saw an individual behind the house and so i stopped and profiling I stopped, and and all the windows are closed and it looks so she's it's calling the cop the on these guys for and being black so i'm like really and i'm like okay just and because so they're the black doesn't mean they're and criminals I an individual again and i'm like um hi like what are you doing at my neighbor's house and then and i greeted you didn't i what's that and i greeted you didn't i This is just a waste of time for her and these guys and the police. A waste of time. You did all this for somebody that lives here and pays rent here. Growing ass mother man. You driving your car down the street. What's up? Now, see, these Karens and Kevins, they have grown adult bodies. They are physically grown. But as far as maturity and intelligence goes, they're still kids. They need to grow up. So, I guess this woman was harassing my partner. Oh, please. No. I literally called the cops on the you, place you where we live because saw bro. a black man walking the house. Come on, bro. Oh, my God. We can stand right here, bro, to be honest. This well, is my I, house. Okay, I just want to separate from her so we can talk. He's on our side about her doing that. That's Okay. So, what's going on? Well, I guess she doesn't believe that we live here. We moved here three weeks ago. About three weeks ago. Uh, Nat Williamson, Randy Williamson are the property owners. We have a lease. A really weird issue to have. I was standing behind my house, right here. She pulls up, she stops. Okay. Uh, what do you mean? I wave, and she pulled off. I heard her car still humming right here. She got a f***ing Hemi in that. She, yeah, I heard her car still humming, so I went inside, and I came outside. And she asked me what I was doing here. I said, I live here. I, I walked back outside, because I peeped through the window, and I seen her right here. So I walked back outside, and I asked her, did she need something? And she said, yes, I do. What are you doing behind my, my neighbor's house? I said, I live here. These neighbors? I don't know who, whoever she's talking about. She said, whoever lives here got two kids, and they don't. We live here. Right. Excuse me. I'm, I'm, you, guys, you guys all moved in or just sort of moved uh, in? Or all our stuff's in the garage. Just some of it's in the house. It is not good to call the Alcohol police Alcohol sure did bring out the, the best back. Karen in her. Run, brother, run. Run for your life. 
That is all we can urge this helpless lad who ended up as this Karen's boyfriend. Confused the entire time we're here. And he cool. needs to break up with her. He too. I've never had this done For before. real. And you won't tell me. He needs to break up with her and find a better girl. Because she is not worth his time if she's going to be like this. Sorry, son of a bitch. Sorry, sorry, son of a bitch. Yeah, so I'm American and I don't understand a single word that he says. Why? I'm gonna start screaming and have someone get you away from me. Here is a British Karen who is oblivious to parking etiquette, or should we say common sense. If you're gonna have a car, you're gonna drive it. And you're you're gonna have your driving's license on you. You need to have both common sense and parking etiquette, or else you're not gonna get very far in life. And you're definitely not gonna be going anywhere anytime soon. Cause you can get in trouble for not parking right. Look, I'm waiting here. We're going into the park. We're in a nice shady spot, okay? I'm sorry, if you're going to verbally abuse me, there's going to be a problem. Look, if you're going to raise your voice at me, we're going to have a problem. Please drive on. I'm not going to move out of this space. There are, no, there are other places you can go. I am not moving out of this space. You are being really aggressive towards me and I don't appreciate it. I will report you. <laughs> no, no. See, you're almost hitting me there. You're almost hitting me. You're almost hitting me. Reserve a spot. Parking spots are for everybody. If somebody took your spot, then too bad. Go find another one. I'm, I'm simply waiting here. He'll be here any moment. He'll be here any moment. I don't want to tell him about this because he won't be very happy. Okay? He won't be very happy at all. Drive on, please. I'm not going to entertain this conversation anymore. It is a conversation, and I'm not going to entertain it. It's not a conversation. It's an argument. I'm not going anywhere. Are you okay? Do you need help? Are you okay? No, I don't need help. I'm quite all right here, thank you. No, I'm all right. I do have a husband, and he's coming round now. Karen does 
not deserve the concern she gets from those Chick-fil-A employees. We're glad Karma is doing its work, though. It's your car. It's your car. You understand? This is why we're concerned, ma'am. Wow. Okay, you guys are going to have to come in here and help us with our car. Your car just quit its job. It wants to go do its oh, own thing. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, it caused some destruction. The car doesn't want to care as its driver anymore. It wants to move on from her. This Karen thought she could take on the whole pride parade all by herself. Guess who had to swallow their pride? <laughs> Have some fun at the parade. At the parade. They just want to have some fun and she's ruining it for them. I just say arrest her and haul her out of there. Update. So this all started because she was angry at the cable worker. So she took it upon herself to do this, which left him stuck in the air. She later was arrested and charged on four accounts. Kudos to the stand-up comic to show this Kevin his place. <laughs> what? Not funny? Okay, thank you so much. I appreciate it. What's your name? Cat in a hat. Cat in a hat? What the f is going on here? Am I in real life? Or what do you do for a living? You teach people how to make money while they're asleep? You're either a hypnotist or a rapist. I don't know. Um, how can you teach them how to make money while they're asleep? You don't make money while, they're, while you're asleep. You make money by working. You gotta earn your money. Not just by laying there and dreaming. Or do you Tell them how to make money. Just sit there on the bed and talk to them while they're asleep. Uh, that's not going to work either. Huh? You're a Jew? I've heard of you, yeah. What does your ethnicity and faith have to do with what I'm talking about? Because I asked you what you do for a living. You said, I'm a Jew. <laughs> When you're at a comedy show, you stay silent unless you're asked to speak. Let me tell you something. The same way- Hold on, shut up. One second, shut up. Can't laugh. Shut up. Just shut up. Just let him tell his jokes. He's a comedian. Of course he's good to tell jokes. It, don't take it personally. Catholic joke. Okay, I was baptized as, as a Catholic one time before. And I didn't get offended by the joke. Now, I'm a devout Christian, as a matter of fact. I, I live by um, God's rules, for the most part. And what I've learned about God and how to live so far, I ab apply it to my life. Now, do I... Did I get offended by his joke? 
No, I didn't. I didn't take it personally like he did. Just let the comedian do his job. I will tell you to shut up. You 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 shut up. I want you to stay and enjoy the show. I don't want you to leave. Trust me. You're insulting me. Bro, f*** you. I don't care. I'm insulting you again. I don't give a I felt like I was going to get deported any minute. I was like, he runs this place. I have no idea who I'm talking to. I'm going to skip the Afghanistan thing. I don't want to get shot. I had, I had Afghanistan on here. Any Afghanis that might get offended? Any Christians that might stand up for Afghanistan? I don't know what the f*** is about to happen here. This is what happens if Kevins become leaders. Here is a disgusting, ego-inflated town mayor berating a father in front of his children. You know who I am, by chance? Don't care, buddy. I'm the mayor. Okay. When the police come, then you should... Who are you going to side with? Being the mayor, you should act like that? I got a crime. Being who you are, you ought to be so stupid as you park right here and block the street. And all you got to do is pull up a couple of feet or park in the driveway. Come here, come here, sweetheart. Come here. Just because you're the mayor doesn't mean you get to act however you want to. Doesn't mean you're entitled. You gotta treat people right. Anybody with any job needs to treat other people right. Especially in front of the kids. I bet this poor father was offended when this quote unquote mayor upset the kids by acting this way in front of them. This, this mayor does not set a good example for anybody, especially not the kids. You're scaring my girl to death, dude. Oh, you're ridiculous. You're stupid, okay? My license number is 695. When the police get here, you tell them, okay? You're, he's not stupid. He's trying to comfort his kid, and you're just making it worse, Kevin. That's what dads do. That's their job is to comfort their kids whenever they're upset. That's what any parent is supposed to do. Okay, Kevin, if you had kids, you'd be the same way. And you wouldn't be acting this way. Unless you're abusive to them. Wow. He shouldn't be mayor anymore. He should get fired. He should resign. This video right here is probably going to get him fired. Stupid. You're stupid. No, you're stupid. Come here, sweetheart. Come here, sweetheart. Come here, let me hold you. I know, let me hold you. Come here. Kid, your dad is stupid, okay? He's not stupid. You don't even know this guy, Mayor. You don't know if he's stupid or not. Witnessing some Karens in action from a safe distance can certainly be a funny and amusing experience.
I don't want to come down there. There is still nope. some humanity left. Here is a community coming together against two parents that left a baby in a hot car for almost an hour. You do not leave your kid in a hot car. That could... They could die from that heat. They can die from heat stroke. You, you don't do that. If it's just for a minute, then maybe. But if you're going to be gone for a while, you're going to be gone for a long time, you bring your kiddo with you. That's sad right there. Oh. 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 Hey, Lucas, he's going to jail. Get up on that in the car. He tried to explain. He can't explain nothing. Put your hands behind your back, man. Oh, stop. They instigate this shit. <laughs> it's not funny, dude. She's pregnant going to jail. Damn. Is she okay? Don't be asking if she okay now. Because you did. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, no. Oh, she left her baby in the car. Oh, she needs to come out of the car. Or he or she will die. Can I have that water? 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 This is what happens when both the hubby and wifey are Karens to each other. Domestic violence. The top that's what you get. On their convertible. That's a nice car right there. That must be expensive. They've literally been screaming for like the past 10 minutes. The wife has screamed at him. He screamed at her. That's an abusive They're literally screaming right now. They need to break it off. They, they need to break up. They are children. definitely not a good match. As the leather seats soak up all of that lovely water. And while they're arguing, the interior of their nice car is getting wet. So they're going to be sitting on two soaked seats. They should have the roof This is right around when she kind of started losing it. Yeah. The roof over the car is optional. Right now, I kept I would getting have nervous the they were going to see me filming. They need to break it off. They're not a good they're not a good match if they act like this to each other. This is probably not the first time they've argued like this. So they finally got it. This dude helped them, but after the domestic violence, yes, let's hug it out. Let's hug it out after the domestic violence. Uh, that's how the now car should have been. It wouldn't have been so bad in time. way to deal with difficult, entitled customers. Hi, how are you today? Who was, who was talking to us back there? Do you have a question? About, a different question? About somebody <laughs> saying you don't have to be this difficult? It doesn't have to be that difficult to order a sandwich. There's a way to order it, and it just confuses the cooks in the front. So if I, don't, if I don't want my sandwich with everything on it, we're not you allowed to... Did you say that at the beginning? Because when they put it in, it, it, all, it already prompts up to the front. Everything you say back there goes all the way to that front. So it just confuses them. So they start making it with everything on it, and then you say you don't want it, and you just want bacon. So it confuses the folks. Okay, the but there's a nice, there's a nicer plain, way. Bacon. Okay, but there's a nicer way to say stuff. And there's a more proper way to order food. So all by right. the same if you don't want your job, the argument. if you don't want your job, just quit. Ma'am, if you don't know how to order food, then go somewhere else. Don't play with me. Ma'am, don't play with me. I'm not going to go ahead and pay. For, go ahead. Here, take your card. Cancel that order that's coming up. Take your card, please. Thank you, sir. Have a great day. Yep. Thank you, too. Karen gets caught on camera for cheating and pleads for the recording in the most Karen way. Give me the fucking recording. Why? Why? Oh, give me the recording. 
morning of it. Uh, I would be embarrassed too, but she should have been acting like that in the first place. I do get that the hate uh, Karens get for acting this way uh, is no fun at all, especially when they mob attack you and bully you online. It's definitely no fun. And I would not want to be in that situation at all. But uh, to avoid that, you must act right in public and not be Karen or Kevin. Ring the owl. <laughs> Give me the recording. Give it to me. Give it to me. What now. recording? You're ringing your recording right now of me. Yes, Give I it am. to me. Yes, I know I'm recording. Give it to me. feel sorry no. for this one. No. No. I, feel, I feel sorry for that Now one, that sure is a scary skeletor looking Karen. Hats off to how the dude stays I didn't, on that one, I didn't see her do anything wrong. I didn't see her acting out. So I think that person who was recording was trying to start something with her and record her for no reason just to call her a Karen. I, I felt sorry for that one. For sure. She didn't need to be recorded. Oh. Yeah, please get away from me. Oh. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Oh, no way. What are you talking about? I'm at work. You're at work? Yeah. Oh, you're at work, home? You're at work? Leave me alone before I call the cops. Take, take the goddamn Leave me vest off. Leave alone before I call the cops. No, no. Take the Leave vest off. Leave me alone before I call the cops. Go. No. Go. Please. Please. Stop spitting at me. I don't spit at all. You can spit on a key, but I can't spit on you at all. I, what are you talking what about? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Are you talking about that guy that was walking over there? Get away from me. Hey, hey. She's a runner. She's a track star. She gonna run away when it gets... Yeah, you Some better Kevins run. are so deep into their delusions that they refuse to budge. Here is an example. This man took one look at my ID, said it was awfully fake, refused to scan it or have anyone else verify it, and said I would have to call the police if I wanted it back. How can you tell it's fake just by taking one look at it? It's just like... No, 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 no. That is... <laughs> that's ridiculous. Please come okay, here. this is why I'm saying if it's that fake, then why don't you... Just scan the card and it be done already instead of going through this trouble. Just scan it so I can have my legal ID back. We are not allowed to give false IDs back, unfortunately. But you didn't scan it. How do you know if it's false? Well, it's it's very big. It you already to get it. Are you going to apologize? What are you going to do? I'll, I'll show them. They'll, they'll laugh when they see it, how fake it is. Okay, this is please get here. We'll, we'll find out who's in the wrong. The police are going to come, and they're going to prove you wrong, Kevin. And when they prove you wrong, I'm going to be laughing right in your face. And I'm going to go on with my day. Sadly, I cannot get the time back that was wasted. If only I can go back in time and live out the moments that were wasted by a Kevin. Just move here. Thank you. But I told him it's real. 
Yeah, so go, like, tomorrow, ever, go, there, go there tomorrow I'm and chug a beer. Go there tomorrow. Right? I know, right? Chug a beer in his face. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. I, I agree with you, but they don't want you inside. Unfortunately, that's their right. Can you at least tell them? Because oh, he's I'll, never going to I'll, gonna I'll go inside. I'll go inside right now and tell them. It's real. Okay, but they, they, they're still not going to want you. Oh, 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 I don't want to. I don't want to. I just leave with that attachment. All right. Oh, I never want to come here. Look, he's really hiding from me. Jurisdiction dispute leads to two cops revealing their inner Kevins to each other. No pull the video at Valero. You get on my traffic stop again, I will arrest you. Yeah, I'll arrest you. Do it, buddy. And we're going to do it. Charge you. Do it. Your do it, at. Do it, Ernie. Go it. Go for it. Do it. There's cameras at Valero, and there's cameras at Napa that say you pulled out. Shut your mouth. You don't talk to me. Cops shouldn't be acting this way. They should do their jobs professionally. That this, this is, they're not doing a very good job of being cops right now. I bet I'm not your boy. Thank you. Thank you, sir. We have a body. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is what happens when the whole daycare employees are a bunch of loser Karens. How? How does that happen? How? If the daycare employees are a bunch of loser Karens, they should be daycare employees. Daycare employees are supposed to take care of the kiddos properly, not be a bunch of Karens. That's sad. And I bet the parents of those kiddos are very offended. Ow. She smells like she's sitting in shit. Okay. Um. Okay. Okay. First, let me apologize. I'm tired of the apologies. How many times do I have to come up here and there's a problem with my kid? I am tired of the apologies. She is sitting in nothing but feces. Look at her dress. Look at this! That She's been sad. sitting in feces all day! Those daycare employees need to resign, and that daycare facility needs to get some new employees that will do their job correctly. Isn't that right? Did I lie? Did I freaking lie? No, I didn't. All day! What is Sorry gonna do? Would you like to go in the office? No, I'm pissed! I am tired of I, this dinner! I, I understand you're I understand you're upset, but the yelling is kind of not uncalled for. No, it is not. It is not. No, it's very uh, it is very called for. My daughter is sitting in her I do not blame this mother for being angry with the daycare facility. I would be angry too. I'm not even a mother yet. I may be one day. I, I'm not even a parent yet. And I understand why she's so upset. Feces. And you standing there like it's not a big deal. I'm, I'm letting you say your piece. You're very upset. I understand. I'm what? letting you say your piece before I respond. Just say your, go sorry. ahead. Go ahead. Tell me how this makes sense to you. It doesn't make any sense. This is the eighth incident that I've had with this center. Call the manager right up. Call her right up right now. We Call the sitting in feces all day. And instead of calling me, they let her sit in it all day. Sitting in her own feces. How? How does that happen? Make it make sense. Here is a line cutter Karen who ignorantly defends herself. Do you want me to call the cops on you? Because yes. I can go do the same What even peeved her off to begin with? Why Why is she threatening to call the cops? I didn't see any reason for her to be that way. She just started threatening right off the bat. Threatening to call them. And she shouldn't even be cutting in line. 
She needs to wait patiently for her turn to charge her car. That's how it works. You patiently wait your for your turn. It will eventually come to you. This epic cyclist Karen meltdown is worth a Karen Oscar for a lifetime achievement. You are dark, you are unvisible! What the hell is your problem? You're not even apologizing! I know oh, I don't yeah, need you're to. Ma'am, you're the one that needs to apologize. Because you're the one being the Karen. Thank you very much. Go on with your miserable life. And go right on. And you what? <laughs> you really make me laugh today. That's great. I'm really happy that you get a free comedy show. Okay. And so is everyone else. You were there illegally. Are you telling me that you had a green light? No, I knew I was Go! Oh, right, you're right. You're right. You were there yeah. illegally? Right. Yes, seriously. No, I'm not doing right. anything wrong right now. I'm just telling you to fucking get your dog out of the way. Mmm. Ma'am, you are clearly doing something wrong. You were yelling at him to move his dog out of the way. When you could very well ask nicely. There's something wrong with that. You understand? No, it's not! Yeah. What's wrong with it? What's wrong with my right to have a cycling? What's wrong? What's wrong with my right to have a cycling? We agree to disagree, alright? No, not disagree! Yes, I don't you agree broke the law! Oh. I don't care what you think. Do you understand what I'm saying? It means nothing to me now. I'm lost it. Means it. So just go on with your day and I'll go online. What's going on with my day? I don't feel like it. This is all around the block. You Mind your, your business, no, lady. Yes. Yeah. You certainly do. Yeah. 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 Make a run for it, sir. She is not worth your time. Hey, uh, there you go. No ice? Oh, you don't want no ice? I'm so sorry. She could have said, I don't want any ice in the first place, instead of waiting until after they make the drink. <laughs> Just no ice, man. Bye! Standing up to Kevin's, even if they are comps who think they can get away with anything, no, sure it's takes a lot of metal. And this no. dude sure yeah, has got to park on the sidewalk. You can go and talk to your commanding officer. You're not allowed to park on the sidewalk. Could you please move, sir? No. You can go park legally. This, this, this is our legal it's park. not legal. Do you want me to cite the city uh, code or the patrol guide? No. You can go park legally. I'm not riding a bike. I'm not riding my bike. You are riding your bike. Could you move me a car from your bicycle? No. On I'm not operating a bicycle on the sidewalk. I'm standing next to a bicycle. Your, your you can move. Could you please move. No. Are you law enforcement? No. Okay, so you, could you please move? No. Can you park legally? Okay, I am parking legally. No, you're not. All right, can you move, please? No. I think both of them. I think he needs to move. You're the one blocking traffic, man. He just ma park uh, horizontally on a ver vertical road. That's not right. He's to drive vertically, like everybody else. Drive straight. Traffic. No, you're blocking traffic. You're blocking traffic because you're not letting me park my car. Can you please move? Well, you can move your car and not block traffic. Can you please move? No. 
Do you want me to slice the patrol guide where it says you can't? traffic. No, it's not. Park legally. There's a... There is, that doesn't make it legal. You, you can move your car and move traffic. No. I don't have a car. You're blocking traffic. I'm standing on the sidewalk. I'm a pedestrian. You can move your car and let traffic by. You're doing this. You can park legally. There's a legal parking spot right here. You can park. I'm not on the road. Yes, the legal parking spot. Parts that are park spot, parking spots that are back in say back in parking. No, no, it's authorized. Mm, no, no, you're making this up. Yes, it says authorized parking on the road. Combat, combat no, it's not. So when it's combat parking. This is ridiculous right here. Do you want me to show you the, the patrol guide where it says you can't park let's, on the sidewalk? Let's just say this. He moves his no, bike. No, no, I'm not going to move so that he can right. park on the sidewalk. That's not a That's not a right. It's authorized parking. No, it's not. Vehicle. Authorized so, parking means yeah. you can park legally. What, 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 what is the problem? You're parking illegal on the sidewalk. I'm trying to get to work also. All of us try to get to work. You don't have the right to park on the sidewalk. Stop making it so So, apparently, this male Karen is a freeloader who thinks the world owes him a great deal. The world owes him as much as it owes everybody else. He is not special. He is just as special as anybody else. Video. Put it in the house where it belongs. Put it in the goddamn house. You delivered it. That's your job. You get paid to deliver it. Exactly. Why, why we try to do be nice? Try to deliver it. Yeah, yeah, he'll yes. deliver it to the, the house if problem? you guys move out of the way. What's the problem? The problem is you guys been rude to me. Who's? Too easy. who's how are we being rude? Because you're, you're trying to drive up with the f***ing fridge that we paid for. Up. Calm down, man. Calm no, down. Don't tell me to calm down. Calm down. Calm me down. Calm me down. Calm down. Calm me down. Calm down. We don't do plastic water line, brother. We don't do plastic water line. Lost, they don't do it. Yeah. Put it in the f***ing house and we'll hook it up. Go in the house. Okay. It's easy, though. It's That's easy. Right. Do it. Oh, wow. Oh, I know. I know, man. It's my nut. Patrick put it in yesterday. Oh, wow. Only because we don't do... There are pranks, and then there are Karen pranks. Watch. Here is a spoiled brat Karen logic. She took her parents to court for having her. So the court ordered them to give me $5,000 a month to cover my basic living expenses. Well, they went and had that appealed. So now they don't have to give me any money. Um, <clears throat> Let's get this straight for a second. They've been putting a roof over your head, clothes on your back, and food on the table. For your entire childhood. So they have given you all the money that they owe you. Get a job. Go to college. Uh, make an app. Uh, start a YouTube channel. Do something else to get money. Besides begging your parents for it. How about that? If you need a little bit of money for help, yeah, you can get it. They might give you some. But they don't have to give you any money because you're an adult now. You're independent. And I have to go get a job. And I'm realizing, like, I don't have any work experience or any higher education. Okay, your education comes from school and um you don't have any work experience because you haven't even tried working yet whenever you go get your job 
They're gonna show you how to work there. I haven't gotten a job yet, and I know this. Nowhere is nowhere's paying me $5,000 a month. So how the hell am I supposed to be able to afford my bills? By getting a job or going to college? Just like everybody else? Uh, what? <sighs> don't have children if you don't want to support them. What kind of a sorry life one would have to destroy a harmless piece of art in the name of activism? Sad. Somebody made that painting. They took a lot of time making that painting. Just for you to go and ruin it. Oh, that is so sad. Who I feel so sorry for whoever made that painting. Oh. So disrespectful. Security. What is worth more? Or life? Is it worth more than food? Worth more than justice? Are you more concerned about the protection of a painting or the protection of our planet and people? They're, they're concerned about all that, both their painting and everything you just mentioned. It isn't just about the painting. The painting is for everybody to see. The protection of everything else is important, too. It's all important. Just because they have a painting up doesn't mean they don't think anything else is important. What a shame. The cost of living crisis is part of the cost of oil crisis. Fuel is unaffordable to millions of cold, hungry families. They can't even afford to heat a tin of soup. Meanwhile, crops are failing. Millions of people are dying in monsoons, wildfires, and severe drought. We cannot afford new oil and gas. It is going to take everything we know. That's why electric cars and electric devices exist. We're moving on from oil. We're in the process of doing that. We are in the process of moving on from oil and gas. Everything's important. Good LOL. This angry drunk Kevin thinks he is super strong. Uh -huh. He thinks he's super strong, but... I don't think so, because I'm thinking he's super strong, made him fall over, and the table fell right on top of him. That is so good right there. Just embarrassed himself. Oh, look at me, I'm so strong. Yeah, no I'm not. Never mind. <laughs> Here is how Karens blow things out of proportion for something as simple as a laugh. I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Okay, I just want to make sure you're okay. I can't hear you because I have my headphones on. I didn't even notice I did anything. When you laughed. When I laughed, I did what? Oh, because it's echoes in here. I'm in the gym. It's going to echo. Yeah. It's okay to laugh if something's funny. There is no specific way to laugh. And whatever way you think she should laugh is... Uh, it's ridiculous. 
at the gym, it's going to echo like that. <laughs> like, like oh, <laughs> it's like going to do that. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, but I can't really help how I laugh. I'm sorry. I didn't mean anything uh, by it. She can't help it. Mind your own business, Karen. <laughs> oh, wow. This is so ridiculous. I'm just going to laugh because of this being over how she laughs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I hope she gets what she deserves for messing Stop. with this Stop. lady oh, over how she laughs. Now you're disrespectful for bothering her over how she laughs. <laughs> What's this about? to pick him up and haul him out of there. It's a shame that he had to just drag him out of there like that. He must have really made it a rough night for the cop to have to pick him up like that. He must have done something very wrong. And that concludes this mega compilation of the year-end special of the best of the best Karen sightings. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, and or share for more. And don't forget to check out my Reacting to Karen's playlist.